Okay, this is the ankle evaluation. First, you would take a history, a past and a present history. Now for the written or the ankle simu simulation, you're going to be asking a series of questions, probably at least three questions, past history, three questions, present history, and eliciting a response from the patient. Then you would move on to inspection. You would say, I'm inspecting for swelling, discoloration, deformity, and you might get a response from the patient regarding um, what, they, what you see as a clinician. So for, a pal for palpation, first is bony palpation. So you would palpate the shaft of the tibia and the fibula like this, and you would say, I'm palpating for a fracture. Then you would palpate the lateral and the medial malleoli for a fracture. And then you would palpate the dome and the neck of the talus for a fracture. Soft tissue wise, you are going to palpate on the medial side, the anterior, mid, and posterior portions of the deltoid ligament for a sprain, a possible sprain. And the anterior tibiofibular ligament, which is up here between the tibia and the fibula for a sprain. And then the lateral ligaments, turn your foot all the way over. Um, the ATF, the CF, and the PTF. So that's the anterior talofibular ligament, the calcaneofibular ligament, and the posterior talofibular ligament. Uh, and then the perineal tendons, perineal tendons for tendonitis or subluxation. So those run from here behind the lateral malleolus and up the side, and those are in charge of everting your foot. Special functional tests, special tests, the squeeze or referred pain test for tibial or fibular fracture. You're going to squeeze the tibia and the fibula together to see if there's any referred pain, because that could be a sign of a fracture. Calcaneal bump test for tibial fibular fracture. So that's gonna shake all the bones, and if they get pain, for example, up here, you would be worried about a fracture. Stress test, so inversion, plantar flexion, and inversion, make sure you have a base hand holding the limb still, the proximal limb still. Plantar flexion and inversion is testing the ATF. Zero and inversion is testing the CF. And uh, dorsiflexion and inversion, relax your foot, Dor dorsiflexion and inversion is testing the PTF. So you need to show all those motions. So for inversion, there are three motions in dorsiflexion at zero and in plantar flexion. And then the same thing for eversion.